Hi everyone, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel. Um, so I recently received the Laser Master 3 from Ortor. I have all the parts uh, laid out in front of me and just wanted to go through uh, the pieces that came uh, with the kit. So just stick around and uh, show you what came in the box. So the kit came in a nice cardboard box uh, looked like they thought out the packaging and had very very well laid out um, nice foam inserts for all the parts um, so that was a surprise that you know they're taking care of how it pre is presented to you uh, once you receive it so we'll just jump through um, each part and um, see what see what comes up what came in the box so start up here I'll just go to the I guess from the front back um, so they send you a nice pair of uh, glasses. Um, I have my own pair that I wear. I bought it off of Amazon. You can link those down if you'd like those, but I like them because I wear glasses and uh, they fit over my, gla my glasses very well. Uh, but these look really nice. Um, you know, they have the side protection here. Um, some of them don't have this portion of it. It's just the front face and they fit over your glasses pretty well. So if you wear glasses, you shouldn't have a problem with, with these. They look pretty cool too. So put those aside. Um, next, we'll sort of start look at the front. Um, I was really surprised with the quality of the, um, the parts here. Um, really well made, uh, nice color. Uh, you know, it's got some heft to it. It's not like the extruded aluminum that the older ones were made out of. Um, this is really nice, nicely made. Uh, the front here, this is the front of the machine. You have your e-stop, or your emergency stop, your uh, on-off key switch, and your power uh, switch there. On the side, you have your SMA connector for your Wi-Fi, you have your power and you have your USB port. On the back you have your boot button, uh, SD card slot, reset button, and IO uh, connector. I wasn't sure, I'm not sure where that goes to. Could be uh, a future, uh, some kind of future accessory. Uh, the main wire harness and your Y motor and that's that's all that's on the front here. You can see the connector and the back of it. And you can see the side there. One thing that's driving me crazy is this button. It's the stop button's at an angle. So it's driving me nuts. I'll probably have to take this part sometime at some point and make that so it's straight. You can see it there, driving me nuts. So these two, uh, left and right rail, nicely made. It's your gantry, also nicely made. It's got four V rollers in here, the roller wheels. Some of them only come Typically, they they have three. This one has four, so it's pretty nice. Uh, your motor mount here, pretty good, pretty nice quality stuff. Uh, this is the rear um, assembly. You could see it has the cable that runs at the front through the side rail for the y-axis stepper. You have your connector for your rotary and your switch that you can switch between rotary and the Y motor. So it makes it a lot simpler to run a rotary attachment on this. So you have one stepper on here and then your belts will feed through in the side. The cables, you have your main cable harness uh, it's labeled for your y-axis. This is for your laser. You have an additional cable for your laser. There's a 
one of the wire harnesses or one of the wire connectors labeled C. I'm not sure what that is for. And then this one's labeled Z. So I think they're coming out with a automated, like a, a Z axis. And then this plugs, it'll go to the front of the frame. So it runs along the side. This is your cable to your uh, laser. So it'll connect to this main harness. And then it has a five pin circular connector that fits into your laser module. You have a USB cable. And then you have your cable that connects to your rotary attachment and plugs into the rear of the, the rear assembly. I uh, got two belts here for your Y axis. You have some hose for your air assist. In this bag here, you have your coupler for your air assist. It's like it has a little valve there. And you also have, so I'll show you the coupler there. I can't really see that one. Um, and then this is your screw for the laser. So this will, for the laser mount, it'll, this is a thumb screw to tighten the, it'll tighten the laser to the, the motor mount, or to the laser mount on the gantry. You have a 24 volt power supply, a manual, which is nice, so you don't have to Search the internet for one, you have a hard copy manual. You get a bunch of test material. So you get a aluminum or metal business card, a couple, four sheets of plywood, and some plastic, H, um, HDPE, I think, uh, plastic, black plastic. You get some zip, zip ties for attaching your, for securing your cables, your Wi-Fi antenna, the laser shield, uh, air assist nozzle. You have your laser module here, uh, their five pin connector, uh, your motor mount. Uh, you have a plug on the top where you fit your, your the air assist hose into in there and then yeah, there's a bottom of the laser see the lens and where you screw in your your air assist, assist nozzle and then you have a box of screws so you have four m4 screws that's going to attach the frame together you have two M3 screws. Uh, these are gonna be your, um, your limit stop on the, for the Y axis. Uh, they attach to the frame. You have two set screws for tightening the belts, for tensioning the belts. You have two idler assemblies for the Y belts. Um, an SD card reader with an SD card, a set of keys and the tools you need to uh, put everything together. And that's everything that comes in the kit. So uh, next step, uh, putting it together. So we'll go ahead and uh, in the next video, I'll go ahead and start building this and showing you how easy it is to assemble. It's relative, it's extremely easy. I'm surprised it's like, six screws and just a couple other pieces so let's stick around appreciate it thanks